Hey everyone, I wanted to do a behind the scenes video so you guys could see my skullet and my hair. This is the day we are going to go film. I'll put this back on so I don't look so hideous. If I can even get it on. Okay, today's the day that we go up and, and make the drive to, to film at Anthony's, the Halloween video. And we're gonna have to pack up a bunch of stuff because oftentimes we don't know what characters we're gonna introduce. So usually what I do is for a Halloween video, I bring like almost everything I can think of that hasn't been done maybe the last year. I have to leave out of the door actually at 10.50 and, and then we're gonna be on our way over to Anthony's. It's a two and a half hour drive. I'm gonna show you guys what it all looks like when I have it on my bed and the, the massive mound that it gets created. All right, so this isn't quite everything, but it is almost everything to put it in perspective. That's my bed. This is a queen size bed. That is a huge stack of stuff. That's gonna take a while to pack up. I'm also gonna be watching the Evil Dead movies tonight, if I have time, to try and get a little bit more ash material. We have the full costume put together. Um, I have to wear a wig, obviously, for that. I've studied everything Pennywise I could. I've watched um, It, chapter one, chapter two, of the new and the old and read 775 pages of it. Um, still another 700 to go, so I didn't get through it all, but I did my research, so I, I know all the different stuff I need to. We're doing this this way because last time when I had a bald cap, we didn't have a lot of time. We were worried it was gonna take a little bit longer, the Halloween video, because it was 21 minutes long. So that's a lot to get done in a day and a half when you're still doing other things like reactions. I think we still did like four reactions and maybe even some let's plays. So we didn't have enough time to get the makeup working with the bald cap. So this time around, it's going to be completely legitimate. That way we can cut the time out of, of, of makeup. I'm also going to be trying to write the script while I'm on the road, trying to come up with it um, because we usually I have a little bit more written by now, but I, I'm a little bit behind on that. We like to write out a script that doesn't necessarily say the lines, so we can still improvise, but has the gist of everything that's happening. So we'll see if I get done with that in time. Hey kids, would you like a balloon? Okay, well, see you later. Okay, I just remembered some things I forgot to mention. Um, I still have to glue together a 3D print of Ash's gun. Alright, I didn't have the best glue gun for this. I, I think I'm going to cover this back part with uh, electrical tape or something like that. But that's what it looks like without its trigger because I have to sand down with a Dremel the trigger so that it fits in that hole right there at the bottom. And then I can put the trigger on. And so besides the back right there, I think it came together pretty nicely. And outside I'm putting together a Sector from the Waist Up cosplay. So I'm, I'm um, painting for Sector. It's, it's an armor that we used for uh, Deathstroke before. So, so it's gonna be repurposed now and we're not bringing in Deathstroke anytime soon. So I think it'll be fine. But uh, I'm gonna show you some clips of that show you what that's looking like. Uh, I also wanted to point out that while I'm on the way, I'm gonna be practicing lines for Ash, for Pennywise. Probably won't sleep well because they have trains that run through next to, next to them about two blocks away every like 30 minutes it seems. So you can't really get, get good sleep over there and that's it's kind of hard for a big filming like this. I also wanted to point out one more thing. This haircut I got for free because the, the great people at Great Clips, they wanted to give me this haircut for free because the lady who did my hair was having a good time and she, she actually was a big fan of Pennywise and once she knew I was gonna do this for our YouTube channel, she not only wanted to subscribe, but she wanted to, she just kept insisting that, that she pay for it or, or that it's free, you know? And I wanted to give her a good tip. I wanted to pay for the haircut, but she refused. She would not let me do it. So if you live in Portland, they have a great atmosphere at that Great Clips on 119th and Gleason. I highly recommend you check it out. Yeah, I still have quite a few things to, to take care of, but primarily it's gonna be about um, remembering every little thing. I should have a checklist. That would be way better. 
but the problem with that is I would have to write a lot of things down and just kind of do it by just scanning my memory and looking everywhere I have props and I have costumes and, and thinking about the different things I might need. On average, it, for like a Halloween video, it could take uh, four to six hours probably to put together everything you need um, that you have and, and pile it all up get it all ready because there's a lot of digging through stuff. So I'm gonna try and remember everything I have to do and, and put that all together and I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, I have everything packed up and ready to go. Let me show you what that looks like here. Okay. So this is what I have to put in the car. Okay, we're on the road and that was exhausting putting all that in the car. Now I have to be practicing my Pennywise as well as Ash and, and I need to kind of put together all the, the sequence of events for the video in terms of uh, how we're going to orient the script and then when we get there we're going to talk to Anthony about it, he'll probably want to print it out, we'll both look at it, cross some things off, write some things in and um, one of the things I want to do is I want to try and kidnap his daughter Lily. He showed me just a second ago that he's got her in a little scorpion outfit. So she's going to be a new recruit. And Pennywise might come to the door, try and take her, which might get Scorpion super mad and heroic. And, and then we'll have that fight that needs to happen for Chapter 2. And a lot of things. I, I don't even know. I, I half planned it and we're going to figure it out on the road but I probably need to focus on driving. One of the last times I did this, I got pulled over while I was talking. Oops, I better, I better slow down a little bit more. I just got pulled over for speeding. So um, don't do that. And uh, I, I just, I have to say that uh, we're, we're getting real close now. And thankfully I had a really nice cop. I, thank you, Stryker. <laughs> Or I, I'm very paranoid about going even a hair above the speed limit and I think I will be for the next like month or so but we're really close we've almost made it I didn't get a ticket but apparently if I did it would have cost as much as $800 $300 for the speeding ticket because I was going 82 and a 60 and um, $500 because we couldn't find proof of uh, insurance. So I wanted to get there to, to make sure that he wasn't sleeping already and uh, I explained that to the cop. It didn't go over well but we're, we're good. We're, we're almost there. I'm going 60 in a 60 or even maybe lower than that. Really got lucky that time. I just got a warning but I probably don't want to be on this too long so I'll, I'll see you guys thank you for watching the behind the scenes for the halloween video we lost the clip we recorded on the way back so the only thing missing is for us to wrap it all up so here it is we spent a few hours friday night talking over the script and decided to film everything except for scorpion sub-zero and pennywise on saturday all the door answering got done then and we filmed for around 10 hours sunday we started with scorpion and sub-zero and filmed our scene with lily really quickly before i got into pennywise while I was being made up, Anthony went out and bought some red balloons and recorded a bunch of his responses to Pennywise's Scorpion. After a few hours, my makeup was done, but we were starting to lose our light. So we were only able to film for around three to four hours, then I did Ash, and we finished and I started packing around 10.30 at night. I drove back Sunday night and recorded some extra lines in front of the green screen as Pennywise and Ash because we weren't able to film as much as we wanted. For the next five and a half weeks, Anthony edited the video, and I finally cut off my clown hair. We hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes for this year's Halloween video. Thank you guys so much for watching this and for your support. We really appreciate it. Love you guys. Have a nice day.